Hello, well, welcome back. Um, we're in a different setup. I just figured, you know, I'd sit at the table. And I actually, I haven't even got to sit at this table yet. Um, especially on the bench seat part. Um, we've had this table for about a month. And um, I just, I haven't sat at it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit here. I'm going to love this table because this table is new to us. Um, you know, bittersweet moment. And um, the circumstances I had to get this table, just, I don't know, I'm rambling about the table. All right, I'm sitting at the bench seat today and I am just like, I'm ecstatic. I'm gonna be reading out of um, Ephesians chapter 2. This is the American Patriot Bible. This was the Bible that I got when I got baptized. Um, it was just what my pastor had on hand. And I'm not mad. I love this Bible. The Bible is a Bible, right? Okay. As long as it's teaching the actual truth about God and Jesus and Mary and Joseph. And it's using the correct terminology for things. And um, it's not lying to you about what God did, if that makes any sense to you guys. I do know that there's different standards, like different um, readings, not, not readings, but like different translations of the Bible. Um, for a people that don't understand the King James or the New King James, there is like um, the English Standard Version and stuff like that. Like, that's fine. As long as you understand it, that's the point. But what I'm saying is, is don't, you know, don't get a Bible and... Um, it be completely wrong and like it doesn't say that mary gave birth to jesus and that jesus was like born from like a rock or something like that you know what i, you know what I mean okay just random all right ephesians 2 and i just i felt like to say that because it's good okay oh before i show this i want to show you guys like my little setup of how i got things going on so y'all understand like this is life hold on Okay, so I got my disinfectant wipes to prop up my phone. I've got my solar powered USB lights um, for lighting because I don't I don't want to turn on the light and use electric when these are like solar and you know save electric. And then I got my candles over there burning. I could put them in the middle, but I don't want to put them by disinfectant wipes and stuff like that. And then I got my Bible, my Bible, I love my Bible. It's the New King James version. All right, dogs are running around. The city is currently working on um, cutting the grass and stuff like that. But I wanted to read Ephesians chapter 2 and upload it. So it says, By grace through faith. And you have made alive who are dead. I have hair in my eye. And you have made alive who were dead in trespasses and, and sin. In which, you, in which you once walked accordingly to the course of the word of the world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who knows work in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love, with which he loved us, even the even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. And raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly place in, in Jesus Christ. That in the that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not for your not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast, for we are his workship, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk with walk in him. Now this is brought new by his blood. And before I finish, before I go on. The candles are hazelnut. They're hazelnut cream. And they smell fantastic. They're from Walmart. So if you want some candles, there's some candles. Okay. Brought near by his blood. There's Pippin. And there's beans. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure dogs are still outside. And not escapade. 
Okay. Brought new by his blood. Therefore, remember that you, once Gentiles in the flesh, who are uncircumcised by what is called the circumcision made in the flesh by hand, that at time that at that time you were without Christ, being alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Je by the blood of Christ. Christ, our peace. For he himself is our peace, who has made both one and his and has broken down the milk the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh his intimacy, in, enmity. That is the law of the law of commandments contained in ordain, ordinance, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace, and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross thereby putting to death the intimacy. There's Beans. Where's Pippin? Beans, where's Pippin? Is he on the porch? Or is he in the yard? Beans is going to look. Okay. Where was I? Okay. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and to those who were near. For through him, we both have access by one spirit to the Father. Now, this is Christ, our cornerstone. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Having been built on the foundation of the apostle and prophets, Jesus Christ himself, himself being the chief cornerstone in whom the whole building being Fitted together grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also, in whom you also are being built together for a dwelling place of God and Spirit. That is chapter two, verses one through twenty-two. Next is Ephesians three. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.